everyone. I am the Wolf Cook and welcome to the Wolf Kitchen. In this video, I will be showing you how to cook another restaurant quality meal from your own kitchen. And it's going to be so tasty and finger licking. This recipe will be a party in your mouth from the east, the west, north and south. Today, we will be making steak fajitas with guacamole and sour cream. It's going to be so good, it's going to make you scream. Delicious. Why? Because my recipe has already been and that's absolutely right. And with my step-by-step -step instructions, it will be easy to make because I'm making the fajitas out of flank steak. Now, before we get started, I would like to recognize a YouTube channel who cooked one of my Wolf Cook recipes while wearing my Wolf Cook baseball cap and my Wolf Cook apron. And that channel is Coco T TV, along with her husband, True T TV. They recreated my blackened chicken and pasta recipe. They did a great job recreating my dish. Everyone, please check out Coco T TV, a channel that does mukbang, interviews, and so much more. Now, before we get started, for those of you who are visiting my channel, for the very first time or you have not yet subscribed do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and let's get started now the first thing we're going to start with as always is the ingredients and all the ingredients measurements and cooking instructions can be found below in the video description first we have to make our guacamole, we have two avocados, chopped cilantro, chopped red onions, diced tomatoes without the seeds, and one cut lime. And next, to make our seasoned vegetables, we have orange peppers, green peppers, red peppers, and sliced white onions. And next, we're going to season our vegetables. We have some fajita seasoning. And we're going to mix it with all the peppers and the onions. And next to garnish our fajita plate, we have one lime, one jalapeno, and sour cream. And next we have the flank steak. Now I'm just going to use this flank steak to show you how to season it and marinate. We have soy sauce, fajita seasoning, sea salt, black pepper, and for our fajita seasoning, we're using McCormick fajita seasoning. And this has all the fajita flavors that I need to season the steak. Now this fajita steak I'm seasoning today is just like I seasoned yesterday and let it marinate overnight. After I season this piece of steak, I'm going to marinate it just like this one because it's going to have a ton of flavor. Now it's time to bring this all together. Next, we're going to make our guacamole. I'm going to add the avocados to a larger bowl. Next, I'm going to use my potato masher to mash up the avocados. And I'm going to mash until I get the right texture I'm looking for. Now I'm going to get my spoon and I'm going to lightly stir. Now I'm going to add in some cilantro. Next, I'm going to add in some red onions. Now the diced tomatoes. And last, I'm going to squeeze a half lime. Now I'm going to mix it all together. 
keep mixing until it's all mixed together. All done. Now I'm going to use a piece of saran wrap. And I'm going to place it directly over the guacamole. And this prevents the guacamole from browning while it sits in the refrigerator. I'm going to start with seasoning my peppers. I'm going to use some fajita seasoning. Next, I'm going to add in the sliced onions. Next, I'm just going to take my hands and just mix this all together. And I'm just going to keep mixing until I think it's good enough. All done. Now they are ready for the pan. Now I'm going to season my flank steak. First, I'm going to add the fajita seasoning. Now I'm using a spoon to spread the seasoning. Next, I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm not going to use salt. I'm going to add salt right when it's time to cook. Now I'm going to turn it over to the second side and do the same thing. Now both sides are seasoned. And now I'm going to grab my Ziploc bag to marinate. I'm going to start by placing the flank steak into the Ziploc bag. Next, I'm going to add the soy sauce. At this time, you can add whatever other liquid you choose. Yesterday, I added some apple cider vinegar, but I currently am out. I'm just going to remove all of the air out of the Ziploc bag. Then I'm going to fold. And now it is ready for the refrigerator. Now I'm going to cook the one I marinated overnight. Now for the next step, I'm going to remove the marinated steak from the Ziploc bag. Man, does that look good. I could smell all that fajita seasoning coming off the meat. Now at this time, I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to season the first side. Now I'm going to turn the flank steak over. And now I'm going to add some salt to this side. And now it's time to cook. My cast iron griddle has been heating for four minutes. And now it's time to add the steak. My cast iron is good and hot. Do you all see all that smoke? I'm looking for the steak to get all those grill marks. And to ensure I get the best grill marks, I'm going to add my cast iron press. I'm just going to use it for the first minute of each side. Now I'm going to remove the press and let it cook for about three more minutes. Now I'm going to adjust the flame. We're going to check back in three minutes. It's been three minutes later and now it's time to flip the steak. Oh man, look at that. It looks good. And it is smelling good too. Now I'm just going to get my cast iron press and let it stay on there for one minute. After one minute, I'm going to take it off and let it stay on there for about another three minutes. The steak has been cooking for about a total of four minutes and 15 seconds on side two. And now it's time to come off. It's finished cooking. 
Look at that fajita steak, everyone. I'm going to show you the other side. Both sides look good. Now I'm going to let this rest for about seven minutes. Now it's time to cook the vegetables. My pan has been preheating for three minutes. And now I'm going to add in the oil. Now I'm going to add in the vegetables. And now I'm going to stir that around. Now I'm going to let that cook for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Now the vegetables are finished and now I'm going to roast the jalapeno. As you can see, I'm roasting on one of my burners. This is a quick and easy way to roast your jalapeno. And I'm going to keep turning until it's roasting to my liking. Now it is done to my liking and I'm going to turn off the flame. Now it's time to check on the steak. The steak has been resting for seven minutes and now it's time to cut. Normally you want to cut against the grain. But since I want my plate to look good, I'm going to cut it like this. Look at that. It looks good. It is cooked medium. You can see with each cut, it's cooked perfect. For those of you who do not like medium, all you have to do is cook it a little longer. Now I'm going to finish slicing the whole steak. As we finish cutting the steak, I'm getting very anxious to try this. All done. Now it is time to plate. Now I'm going to add some vegetables to my fajita pan. I'm going to turn off the flame since it's been preheating for three minutes. Now I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. Now I'm going to add the flank steak. Look at that. It does look good. Now I'm going to add the guacamole. Now I'm going to add the sour cream. Now I'm going to add a condiment of guacamole. Now I'm going to add the roasted jalapeno. And last, a half a lime. I'm also going to garnish it with some more cilantro. There you go, everybody. All done. Steak fajitas with guacamole, sour cream, jalapeno, and vegetables. And now, what I've been waiting for. The taste test. Delicious. Well, everyone, my steak fajitas dish is complete and it tastes delicious. I can't wait to start eating this terrific meal. I would like to thank everyone who is watching this video. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank again Coco T TV and her husband True T TV for recreating my wolf cook dish. Now, before I go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, 
hit that notification bell, share this video out, and leave a comment, and let me know what you think. And please, tell your family, your friends, your co-workers, and even those neighbors to tune in to watch the Wolf Cook cook these delicious restaurant quality meals. Now, I have compiled a tribute to some other channels who have also recreated some of my Wolf Cook dishes. Please stay and watch. Again, thanks for coming and see you soon.